Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. So I'm going to do a spread on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine for October 16th, 2024. The first card I'm getting for Divine Feminine is the Nine of Cups. So I feel as though right now, the Divine Feminine a lot of sadness and despair. And as she does that, she is actually moving um, the energies of the connection. So I am seeing again that she is transmuting all that so she can elevate to a higher, more ascended version of herself. So I feel as if the Divine Feminine needs to have patience as with herself as she goes through this um, growing pains. And I feel as though, again, she may be feeling impatient, but the Divine is like saying to address the process. With the Eight of Wands, I am seeing again there are communication blocks that are being cleared right now for the Divine Feminine. And this is causing me to be highly triggered. So I feel as though the Divine Feminine may be going back and forth in her mind about um what happened between her and the Divine Masculine. And she's like saying, not again, I'm just not going to do this. And I feel as though the Divine Feminine needs to understand that this is energy. And so she is really releasing the, that anger. She's releasing that um, frustration. She's releasing that heartbreak. And in doing so, she's going deeper into unconditional love. So I feel as though the Divine Feminine needs to remember that she's a lot more healed than she gives herself credit for. So it, it doesn't mean that she hasn't done the work. I feel as though this just simply means she is going deeper. And with the Two of Swords, I feel as though the Divine Feminine Maybe feeling a little bit indecisive about what to do when it comes to her life. She feels like she um, needs to move things along, but things are not exactly going in her favor. And it feels that the Divine Feminine is feeling very disheartened. But the Divine Feminine is being advised to trust the process. It may seem as though she's being overlooked, but the Divine assures the Divine Feminine that she has not been forgotten. And I feel as though, again, that she just needs to trust. And that's what I get for Divine Feminine. So this is what I get for Divine Masculine. The first card I'm getting for Divine Masculine is the Two of Swords. And I am seeing that the Divine Masculine is being called to like um really go within and clear the indecision he has about um the Divine Feminine. So I feel as though again that he does mean to reach out to her at some point, but he is um on defense about it because he's wondering whether she's receptive or she's even um available and i feel as though again the divine is like getting the divine masculine to address those blockages that prevents him from doing so with the judge of trusting the divine and as he does that i feel as though he goes more with the flow so the divine masculine is really letting go of control today and he's just simply accepting what it is so he's coming to a state of surrender at this point and he's really really um come a long way um with the page of cups i am seeing again that he definitely wants to um express what is in his heart with, to the divine feminine he has been trying to c communicate to her through telepathy or even dreams or even songs i feel as though again he is um really 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 emotional about her today and he really wants to like tell her how he feels I am seeing a lot of astral clearing going on for the twins. I am seeing again Divine Masculine does wake up feeling Divine Feminine and vice versa. I guess they're really going deeper into the self as they clear this karma. And this is what I get for Divine Masculine. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel. I post updates about Twin Planes almost every day. I will see you another time. Namaste.